Big Z Reviews. Murderville is a new Netflix uh, limited series uh, that is about, like, essentially Will Arnett and Hanifa Wood as, like, the chief and the detective. They're there, and, like, all the other surrounding people, they all have a script for the murder and who did it and what's all going to happen. But each episode, they have a new celebrity come in as like a detective in training, and they he has to re they have to react to what's going on and try to figure out who the murderer is without knowing the script, like and it's I love this idea of it, but some of the stuff fell a little bit short. For Terry Seattle, every day means a new murder case and a new celebrity partner. Ready to solve a crime. I'm ready. Scream it! I'm ready to solve a crime! Let's go! God, forget how strong I am. Honestly, I think the biggest fault of the show is that the first episode is the best episode with Conan O'Brien. Like, the first episode is hilarious. Like, I would say you could watch that and you don't have to watch any others. Like, there's still some funny moments in all of them, but he is the best. The he Conan O'Brien's funny. He's, he can improvise. He can talk to people. He knows how to he do it. He did that for years as a talk show host. And as a man on the street, when his, that, that was always his funniest stuff. And some of the stuff with him felt like his man on the street bits. But then you also have uh, Marshawn Lynch, Ken Jeong, Sharon Stone, Kamal Nanjiani, and Annie Murphy as the other celebrity guests. And I think some are better than others. And I, but I think the biggest problem, other than Con- starting with Conan, is that the mysteries aren't good. Like, it's, it becomes more of an improv show and, like, trying to make the guest star break than being any decent mystery. You know, I kept waiting for, like, like and all the mystery show tropes and they didn't really have them. Like, I think they maybe tr- they tried, but it didn't feel right. And the end of every every episode, it, it felt like they didn't try to bring in the viewer. Because, like, every time they, like, they would they say, this is a killer, and the chief would come in and would say, you're wrong. Because, um, actually, the, the one woman, even though she had a much better motive, she didn't have a little dog. Even though she said she, her boyfriend did, but that's, but that they didn't have dogs, so there was no. They, she couldn't. She couldn't have had dog hair. So they're the murderer, and it's like, I don't think that would fly in a court, <laughs> you know. And and everything is always like that. Every time, I don't know if I ever got it quite right. I might have got it once or twice right, but I always felt like that there was stuff that they weren't cluing the viewer in on, because even the stuff like like a, a book behind the person that you couldn't even really see was about the murder or something. Or the stuff that, like, it just seems like a random aside the character says, but that is one of the three things that only that one has that the murder has. And each time, I, I think, too, like, a couple times, they, I think they filmed a lot more than we saw. Because I know for Annie Murphy, like, she, um, she got, like, really messy at one point in, like, a kitchen scene. And then they um, they go back, and she's not messy at all. So like, so she cleaned up the f- in between. So I feel like we're not getting all of the information, you know, that they're getting. But at the same time, I liked the idea of the show a lot. And you know, I like Will Arnett. I think they just need to tighten it a little bit, and they work on it a bit. And instead of just having them do weird tasks, like on Ellen where they go into somewhere and he's in their ear and they have to repeat what he says. Like, it's just that stuff is just so bomb of the barrel that it's not... Like, some stuff you could chuckle at, but I think it's just kind of stupid. But I, I think that the idea of Murderville is really interesting. I see potential if they want to do another season. So I would recommend it, but not super highly. I'd probably give, like, a 7 out of 10. But uh, thanks for watching. If you want to see more of me, you can subscribe down below. Thanks.